It's ridiculous, but look, to another affront to biological women, Nana, two trans athletes have won first and second. Um, and this is, yeah, I know, I mean, it's, get, it's getting worse, isn't it? I mean, they'll, 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 it'll be a clean sweep next. This is a prestigious cycling competition in America, leaving just one single biological woman on the podium. And it's not the first time this has happened. One of the trans cyclists, Evelyn Williamson, has collected a staggering 18 medals in female races across America, according to the Chicago Cross Cups website, the CCC has always been first and foremost about fostering a positive and supportive community built around competitive cyclocross racing. And that means welcoming and challenging everyone who wants to contribute to the series and make it better. Uh, Nana, what do you make of that? Well, it's like we're living in a clown world. This has got to be a joke, right? Look, there's two men on the podium and there's a woman. I don't even know why she's smiling. If I were a woman in any of those sports, I'd refuse to go up against male competitors. I'd say, let them, let them have it. There's literally no point. I think women should boycott the sports where they are forced to participate with men who uh, present themselves as women because it's simply not fair sport is about bodies, it's comparing bodies, and it's comparing the strength of bodies. So in sport, at the very least, that should be the one place where this a woman's space and being female uh, should be sacrosanct, but sadly, not even there. It's almost comedic, it's got to be a joke. And these are, as Martina Navratilova said, mediocre men who didn't place yeah. anywhere in the male sports, but they've come in onto the women's sports and they're taking the proverbial. Yeah, they are. No, it's 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 the reality is it's bang average male sportsmen. Not even not even bang average. Sometimes actually diabolically awful male sports people mm. who wouldn't have even got a college scholarship in their chosen sport, who then win something like this and continue to win it and continue to win it. I mean, I think it's cheating, but it's all very well and good yeah. being you know being being called inclusive or anything. But I mean, at the expense of what? My concern though, Nana, is that that picture that we saw earlier on there is a window into the future where that's just well, getting, sports. Well, it's getting more and more familiar, isn't it? We're getting used to seeing men on the podium taking the first, second place. There's usually one solitary woman. Now it's going to be first, second and third. Somebody must be looking at this and thinking this is ludicrous, but it doesn't seem to be happening. I don't understand. Mm. It's not... People will call it transphobic. It's not transphobic to talk about reality of biology. Men in general are stronger than women. So they shouldn't be competing in sports where power and strength is what is measured. Mm. That is no. quite simple because it's not fair to the women. No, uh, it's absolutely not fair. And people's lives hinge on this, right? Sponsorship yeah. money in sports hinges on it. Mm. I mean, people's safety in the changing rooms, but we've already kind of touched on that, haven't we? Things like college scholarships, all of this stuff, you know, just fame. and People have worked their entire lives, and then a bloke rocks up and, and takes it all away from you. It's an absolute disaster zone. But look, Nana, thank you very, very much. Always a delight to have you on. Nana Aquila, setting the world to rights, as she does so well. GB News presenter.